What day was it yesterday? Of the week, I mean. Okay, now you're starting to worry me. Yesterday was Saturday, so today is Sunday. Man, what is going on? What's going on with you? If you're so tired you don't even know what day it is, we can do lunch another day. No, no, that's not it. That's not what I mean. It's just... Ugh. Well, whatever you're dealing with, I'll be in Akihabara a while longer. If you want some company, come find me. Take care, Asahi. Oh, hold up, Mizuki, wait! I guess all that craziness from yesterday really did happen, huh? No matter how many times I check, it's always gonna say Sunday. But Sunday should be over by now, damn it! Maybe I just need to go find Mizuki. He might be able to make sense of all this. If I ask you something a little unusual? Yeah? If you're gonna ask me out, at least wait until I'm not working. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I just want to know what day of the week it is today. No, it's Sunday. Which means yesterday was? <laughs> what a silly question. Yesterday was Catcher Day, of course. Not duh. Yeah, that would make sense. If today's Sunday, then yesterday had to have been Saturday. Did you hit your head or something? You're kinda talking nonsense. Yesterday was a dream. It had to have been. No two ways about it. Which means... The station. The station's gotta be the same way it always was. Yeah? I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, I know I sound crazy, but I've got things to do. I'll hang out at your cafe some other time, though, I promise. I've got to get to the station. I need to know for sure. All that crazy crap yesterday really was a dream after all. Wait, that's the door from yesterday. Those are the embers of the delusion. In time, that door too will disappear from reality. Uh, Saki? And don't forget about me. I'm here too. Okay, so you're here. But why? Pin Kun, be careful. It's not safe to show yourself right now, remember? Yeah. Well, that settles it. I must still be dreaming somehow. A dream within a dream. Anybody got a top? Yesterday, we nullified the encroachment of a delusion, and then found ourselves repeating Sunday all over again. But this isn't a dream, nor is it a delusion. This is reality. I was afraid you'd say that. Pinkun and I have been pretty busy since we parted ways with you, Asahi. We've been following a few leads. We've managed to confirm that this is, in fact, Sunday. The same Sunday as yesterday, all over again. The same Sunday? Your friend, Mizuki, was it? The email you received from him is proof positive. Yeah, it was the exact same one he sent me yesterday, down to the letter. Furthermore, it seems as though no one in all the city, ourselves excluded, can recall anything that happened yesterday. So... Are you saying that the three of us traveled back in time or something? I don't know if that's quite it either. I believe that whatever happened didn't happen to us, but rather to the world. It's the world that's not right. Okay, so the world repeated Sunday, but left us literally out of the loop? Not just us. There are other elements that didn't make it into this loop, as you put it. Just take a look at Akihabara Station. 
door aside, there isn't a trace of the delusory consumption to be seen. Great! But uh, what does that mean? The consuming effects of the delusions and those of us who perceive them are not subject to this repeating loop, which suggests the repetition of this Sunday and the delusions are connected. It's the only logical conclusion. So you're telling me everything not connected to the delusion is repeating? Yes. TV and radio programming is identical. And I've no doubt once midnight passes, it'll be Sunday yet again. So that cat ear cafe I keep passing is forever doomed to live through its grand opening over and over again. No, and Mizuki, will he be forced to wait for me to show up at Fosmap for all eternity? Yep, and you'll be a neat forever too. Pinkoon, could you at least pretend to try and behave? But doesn't that sound boring, Asahi? The same day repeated over and over again without any changes? I think the word boring is too exciting for that kind of hell. I couldn't agree more, which is why I want you to stick with me from now on. Huh? I was thinking it over after you went home, Asahi. How nice would it be to have someone like you by my side? Wait, what? I, uh, I don't know if we're ready for... I mean, uh, what do you mean by that exactly? Well, I've been kind of uneasy since I came to Tokyo. I don't really have anyone to call on for moral support. Um, well, I, I mean, I don't think my heart can take this. It's all so sudden. I want you, Asahi. I want your help nullifying any and all encroaching delusions. Aha. Uh -huh. That makes more sense. Probably should have figured. For the two of us to meet at random like this. For both of us to be able to receive these delusions. It has to be fate, doesn't it? Uh, um... Oh, mosquito, you ain't got any other plans. You might as well. Ah, damn it. You try to help one person once and pay the price forever. I should have known better. How am I even supposed to help you guys anyway? Like, what am I supposed to do? How many times must we go over this? Help us nullify any delusion attempting to encroach on reality in Akihabara. In Akiba? Why just Akiba? Because delusions are drawn to Akiba more often than anywhere else. It's practically an epidemic. Really? Maybe I just couldn't see them before. That must be. But right now, we've got more than just delusions to worry about. We've got a repeating timeline, too. Though, I have a hunch that if we take care of every encroaching delusion, this problem should resolve itself shortly. Yeah, I'll pass. The whole monster fighting thing isn't really my jam. Leaving a poor girl all alone in a dangerous town like this is your jam, then? I see your cruelty knows no bounds. Actually, Akiba's pretty safe. Crazy otaku crime has been blown way out of proportion by the mainstream media. I see. Well, when I meet my violent death, I will look to the skies and lament that you weren't there to help. I suppose I'm destined to fight against the invading Delusion hordes with no one but Pinkun by my side. Adrift on these lonely streets until eventually, inevitably, a strange man earns my trust and lures me his way. Yo, I think you've got enough delusion to go around yourself right there. Poor Saki, to think Asahi abandoned you, even though, as a dirty neat, he has absolutely nothing better to do. No, Pinkoon, it's all right. But thank you for being my rock in this, my time of greatest need. I must simply take solace in the fact that I am the Chosen One, destined to save the world from a delusory fate. Even when I'm unsure, or alone, or approached by a strange man with an alluring offer, I will not be daunted. Even in this town where I know no one but Asahi, and can count on no one but Asahi, I shall persevere without him. Um, I... I don't... I... I mean... You always have me, Saki! I'll do my best to help you in any way I can. So please, let me see that smile of yours. Ah, okay, now just hold up. There's no need to pretend to cry. People are staring. Just stop, please. you jerk! Damn it. Fine. Fine, you win, okay? Does that mean you'll help? I will, but only because I know a lot of people in Akiba and don't want any weird rumors getting started about me. <laughs>
Thank you, Asahi. I'll be counting on you. You're a credit to meets everywhere. Yeah, yeah, and you're both con artists. Well, what do you say we get started? First off, let's investigate Main Street. And they're off. Honestly, this isn't all that bad, I guess. Things were starting to get kind of boring anyway. Plus, I'd hate to force Mizuki to wait for me day in and day out. going on here. At least, nothing that looks like it's being eaten by delusion at any rate. Yep. Same old Akiba. Tell me, Asahi. Can you think of any place that's likely to be encroached upon by delusion? I... How do I even answer that? Wait. Does that mean you don't have any idea where to look either? I just don't know Akihabara very well. I've only been here since the spring. You're telling me you just randomly stumbled upon these disturbances all this time? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But Akiba's your stomping ground. I'm sure you'll be able to show us how it's done. That's why I sought you out. Eh, not that I'm not flattered, but... Really? That sounds like something you just made up right now to placate me. No, I'm completely serious. I've been thinking about you since yesterday. I'm sure. Okay, enough back talk. I've got you for your eyes, not your mouth. See anything that seems off yet? You'd kinda know if I did. It's not like yesterday's delusion was easy to miss. Hold on, what's going on over there? Ooh, what is it? What do you see? Just a disproportionately large number of people wearing hoppy coats. Like the kind you see at festivals? Not around here. Around here you see people wearing them for idol concerts. They've usually got the name of the idol they're endorsing proudly displayed. So... what? Aren't there like a million underground idols here in Akihabara? Yeah, but this seems excessive, even by Akiba standards. But I don't think I saw any of this yesterday. Okay, there are definitely way more here than there should be. Wonder if there's some kind of event going on. Hey, Asahi. What can you tell me about where they're all headed? Looks like they're Main Street bound. So they're probably going to Versailles Akihabara. Lots of idol shows held there. Then that's where we're going, too. Come on, let's roll! Huh? Why? But don't tell me you think this is another delusion thing. If there were some kind of big event going on, I wouldn't find a crowd like this all that unusual. But you're forgetting the most important detail of what you just said. Remember, this is Sunday again. Right. And there weren't this many people in hoppy coats yesterday, huh? Bingo! And when something happens that didn't happen yesterday, that's a red flag for sure. So if there is an event, 
It's an event unique to this particular loop. One that didn't exist yesterday. Versailles Akihabara is on Main Street, you said? Come on, let's check it out. signs point to event. You really think it's another delusion? I do. There was nothing like this here yesterday, so my theory still stands. We and the encroaching delusions are the only things not repeating in this loop of ours. Yeah. Man, Akiba's going through some real crap right now, huh? <laughs> it's okay. We're going to take care of this delusion together. Okie dokie. I have to admit, though, this is quite the crowd. What sort of thing could inspire so much fervor? It's a handshake event for Limpity Mom! <laughs> well, that just happened. Is he here to shake her hand, do you think? I'm gonna say yeah. But man, Akiba's really gone idle crazy in recent years. Oh yeah, I think I heard about one group based here. ACQ48, was it? Yeah, they're pretty famous. But the underground idols are the ones people really hipster themselves over. There are even stores where people sell candid photos or let you meet and greet with idols in training. If you're an idol otaku, Akiba is pretty much your mecca. Wow. I knew Akiba was an otaku haven, but I never knew there were so many kinds of otaku. Well, take that Onda guy from yesterday. He was clearly an audio otaku, right? Same basic idea. Akihabara is quite the melting pot, isn't it? Audio otaku, idol otaku, and even meats. Truly a diverse ecosystem. Did... Do you just slip a slight against me into a response to something I was teaching you? Come on, 
We should talk to the people gathered around here and try to figure out whose delusion this might be. Hmm? Aren't we supposed to jump into the delusion scape and defeat a grand phantasm somewhere in its chewy center? Uh, it might be a bit premature for that. The door to the delusion scape hasn't even manifested itself yet. Haha, oh, that's a good point. The entrance will only appear when the balance within the heart of the delusion source begins to crumble. Oh, we call the sources of these delusions delusers, by the way. Kinda rude, but makes sense. Oda looked pretty shaken up when he encountered his delusion yesterday. Which means now we've got to find the one responsible for this idol delusion. Which unfortunately means we're going to have to talk to the many, many fans here until we figure out who it is. But sometimes, investigation is all about the legwork. Let's get inquisitive, Asahi! <laughs> Won't be long now until my hand is touching Mippity's. <gasps> but it's all sweaty because I'm so nervous. What do I do? Uh, um, hi. May I ask you a few questions? <laughs> what do you want? What business could a three-dimensional girl possibly have with me? Well, I just wanted to know what's going on here. Like, who's this event for in the first place? <laughs> you don't know Mippity Mop? <laughs> this is why 3D girls are the worst. God. So this Mippity Mop you speak of is the main attraction here today? <laughs> yes. She's the only attraction. This is a memorial event to mark the release of the newest CD. And I'm the captain of the Mippity Militia 3rd Infantry. The name's Chunk Widebody. <laughs> What are you doing in her sanctum anyway? If you're not Mippity Mop fans, uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Trust me, if I could be anywhere else right now, I would. <laughs> you three-dimensional girls are all the same. <laughs> Mippity Mop is and always will be 2.5D to me. <laughs> uh, Asahi, help. I have no idea how to talk to these people or even what they're saying half the time. Yeah, you get guys like that sometimes. Let me take a stab at it. Um, hello. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Huh? Hey, Goggles, she's talking to you. What? M me? My name is Saki Hoshino, and I promise I mean you no harm. I just want to know if you're taking part in this event. Oh, I'm Megane Taro, and yes, I'm here for the big show. There's a new CD coming out today, so there's going to be a mini concert and a handshake event. So is this Mippity Mop girl really all that popular? Well, sh she's just starting out, but I think she has the potential to become a top idol if she really tries. Other fans would be mad at me if they heard me say this. But there are idols with cuter looks and better songs. Even d despite that, though, Nippity Mop has a mysterious power to attract uh, important people. So she'll do okay. That's why I've decided to come here and cheer her on myself. You really do care about her, huh? Y yes, because she always smiles for me. Well, I hope you're able to communicate those feelings to her. Thank you for being so gracious with your time. Anytime. When it comes to Mippity Mop, I can now talk to anybody else. Hey, you got a minute? What do you want? Can't you see I'm reveling? Uh, I don't know if I'd say I want anything per se, but... Then leave me be! I'm getting amped for the handshake event with Mippity Mop! That's real Momose to peons like you. This is such an important CD release for Akiba's favorite daughter. I couldn't be happier that she's holding it here. Mippity Mop must be ecstatic! I'm overwhelmed with emotion, and I'm just a fan. Though, I suppose her happiness is our happiness, and to finally be able to touch her 
with our own hands, too. <gasps> One handshake per CD is a steal. In fact, from any true fan's perspective, it's the deal of the century. I actually bought three boxes of CDs just for today. And I'm not talking the pansy 50-count boxes, but the 100-count. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry. How rude of me to talk your ear off without introducing myself. The name's Slims. Twiggy Slims. I belong to my college's Idol Research Society, or IRS for short. We study idols of all ages and nationalities. And by my valuation, talent like Mippity Mops comes along only once every thousand, nay, two thousand years. Her favorite food item is candy, and her least favorite is wasabi. She has one brother and one sister, both much older. She likes collecting pink accessories and hates bugs. Oh, and this info only took me maybe 40 seconds to research. Her CD sales still aren't up to snuff, but rumor is she's doing a gravure shoot for a weekly men's magazine anyway. Young Chop, by my valuation. If I can find it on newsstands before street date, I plan to buy out the whole stock. I just don't want her to get too famous. I can't shake this feeling that she's already strayed too far from her roots. But if she continues at this pace, even a humble student of idolatry like myself should be able to keep up. Still, with her amazing talent, she could be scouted into the big leagues at any moment. And if that happened... Uh, sorry, wrong number. You can stop talking now. Please? I get what you're saying, so just stop, okay? So, any leads on our source? Not a one. I can't make any solid conclusions off the information we've gathered so far. Attention, everyone! The mini-concert will begin momentarily! Oh, I guess it's starting. We might as well stick around and see what all the fuss is about. First I've ever heard of her, but she sure does have a lot of fans. Devoted, too. She's like the model of what an idol's supposed to be. I'm a girl and even I think she's super cute. You're a girl? Yeah, I'm a girl. What, have you got a problem with that? No, no. The handshake event should be starting soon. We should talk to the people in line and catch others as they leave. <laughs> 